keep going. What? Whoa, what? Wake up. Alice? Uh, was a little bit disjointed. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. Don't drink and drive, kids. How I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Okay. Now there's a boot here. E Among Alice's things then. was a book. The Creator's Dilemma. By a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Oh yeah, cause that dude's smug. <laughs> and nobody else here is. Just that guy. Can I touch these dangerous looking electrical the wires? Station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Well, that seems like a good time as any for terrible things to attack me. Ooh, blinking lights. Oh, those are my blinking lights. Damn. Oh. Damn it. My favorite jacket was in there. Okay, let's let's go. Let us get to the gas station. And I'm tired again. Hello? Ow. The hell, man. Turn off your brights. Hello? Someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Well, that sounds familiar. I found a manuscript pages. I can access them with F5. Departure by Alan Wake. Can I, like... Do I have to really check them page by page? The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. And that's how you hook him. Okay. Let's... <laughs> let's go. Resume... Resume game. This game is fucking awesome looking. Ooh, what's this over here? Stuff to explore? Anything interesting? Nope, nope, it's just scenery. Okay, let's go. Uh, that is just one thing guaranteed in any game. If they give me a path to go down, my first thought is not, you know, like, what's at the end of it. My thought is, well, what's over here? You know, I'm, I'm sure there are other people out there who think the exact same thing, but... What? Oh shit. Anybody there? Please. I've been in an accident. Can I just stay here? Surely if I don't go forward at all, the story won't continue. And ah oh, crap, let's go. I shouldn't sprint yet. I need to save my, my sprintiness. Ooh. Pretty. <laughs> I get the feeling I'm gonna say that a lot. Hmm, checkpoint reached. That's the lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. No, I'm sure you won't. I'm sure everything's gonna work out just fine. The hell is all this stuff? What's over here? Just lights and, and stuff. Am I supposed to be going around this way? Oh, but there better be something cool over here. Damn it. 
Nothing? Really? Not a, not a damn thing? Oh, come on. Son of a bitch. Alright, let's go. And I'm supposed to, like, climb this thing? Like, it, it, oh, yeah, okay. Cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I should get some goggles. You know, the science has to wear protective eyewear. Well, whatever. Hey, yup. Oh, not really a yup, but... Anybody there? Please. I've been in an accident. Great. I'm not going in there. No, fuck you, game. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do. Oh, son of a bitch. All right. Hey. Hey, you. Bill. There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non-refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Uh, nice to nice to meet you, uh, Carl. Okay. Oh crap. Oh oh, thermos. Excellent. Okay, let's let's get the hell out of here. Oh, wait, 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 there's a manu manuscript page. Ah! 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 Stuff's happening. Hang on, I gotta read. God. The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor hmm. and eye disease. Yes. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I'm such a genius. I, terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave. And the light seemed to shine brighter. I am such a good rider. God. Even I impress me. Okay. I should probably avoid this stuff. Da -da -da -da. What the hell? So he's a predator now? Great. Just fucking go. Oh, there's light. You lose. Shit. Nope. Leave me alone, you creepy bastard. It's the latest. Here, here's Johnny. I to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe, like Nicholson in The Shining. Hey, it was pretty obvious. No one, no one was surprised by that. Okay, yeah, let's get out here. Your... Okay, there's something else over here too. This game brought to you by Energizer. Okay, let's. Proven let you kill Oh, he used the phone. One. Yes. Hello? Oh, oh, son of a bitch. Okay, how do I get out of here? I think I should probably, like, maybe I... There we go, okay. Okay. Ugh. Holy hell. I think there's also, like, dark stuff chasing me. Whoop, okay. I'm going in here. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Ugh, that was the wrong button. Yeah, you fucker. Uh oh. Did I kill him? I killed him. Yeah. I never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. And now I have time to explore. Ooh, there's an arrow here. Oh. Well, that's obviously a secret. Awesome. Yeah. I can't see that one. What's that supposed to be? Eerie hand painted oh. graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. 
Is this the, the chest of supplies? Cool beans. Well, that's nifty. That's that's pretty cool. All right, so what's this thing? Appears to be light. Yeah, you know, I, I think I kind of kind of kind of find it funny that in the last game I played, the light was like a bad thing, and now it's a good thing. Oh, hey, shiny stuff. Whatever, it's just something funny. Wait, what, what was that? E, turn on. Oh, I guess that was like a. Here's an arrow, dumbass. Look for oh a chainsaw, a chainsaw. Damn, why can't I pick that up? Chainsaws are always awesome. E kick. Well, what the hell did you do that for? No, oh, I know why you did. The dark did. forest was the last uh, place I wanted to go, whoop. but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Oh, I don't think so, buddy. Oh, that was a flare gun. So, that, so that's what the flare gun does, huh? Good, good to know. What? Well, it's a good thing they just leave bullets lying around in these emergency things, where fucking anybody can come along and take them. I know it's a dream and everything, but still, really, Alan, you're supposed to be a writer. Details like this, the little things that don't make any sense. It's not good, man. It's not good. Mm, so what's up here? It appears to be a light. Oh, it's a manuscript page. Excellent. F5. Oh. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. So basically, she was a pretty creepy stalker. Alright. Cool. I'm okay with that. I'm a famous writer, after all. Why is it so dark here? <laughs> that got creepy. So what's this thing? It is like super dark in this corner. Should probably get away from it. Can I climb this? Like hoop. Hip hoop. I guess not. Anyway, I think I'm going over this way. After I explore this thing. Yep. Okay, never mind. Oh, really? Nothing? Nothing back here? Son of a bitch. Okay. Should probably avoid that. Wouldn't want to want to walk into that. Definitely wouldn't want to get your head bumped up against that thing. <laughs> ow! 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 Sorry. Okay, let's go. <laughs> what the hell is he? <laughs> is he like immune to electricity? That should have hurt way more than it did. Hmm. Whatever. I'm cool with that. Huh? What the hell was that? I don't know. And I'm not sure I want to. Let's uh let's keep going. Right hmm. Mossy. Ooh. Pretty. Oh yeah, 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 escaping, right. When I saw the river below. Something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way yeah, to da, 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 yeah, My god, I didn't know you were so agile, Alan. You know, aside from being a famous writer, I am also a uh, balance beam specialist circus performing guy. Yeah, da, 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 yeah, da, da. Oh, I fell. That's actually a profession, by the way. Balance beam specialist circus guy. Look it up. I think that's enough. Let's go. Okay. Oh, shit. Ah, ah. No, I didn't. He 
You son of a bitch, Alan. Where the hell am I? <laughs> Do I have to pick up my thermos again? Yeah, I really, I really needed this part again. Thanks, thanks, game. What the hell was that? When I saw the river below. At least I get to do this part. Of oh, oh, shit! <laughs> God. Hey, so you remember that thing I said about being a balance beam specialist, circus performing writer guy? Turns out it wasn't true. I may have been embellishing just a bit. What the hell was that? Oh, this is impossible. I am magnificent at climbing things that require balancing. When eh. I saw the river below. Here we go. Something uncoiled itself. Da, 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 I do. Oh, okay, it's one of those collectible things. Or if you die, you have to collect it again. Great. Okay. Hmm. At least there's, there's this thing over here, so I can be like, here up. I, I said, here up. Okay, whatever. Let's keep going. It's supposed to be like finding my way across the river. I'm sure, there will be many more chances to balance on things later on. Where the hell is this gas station at anyway? I don't even I'm not even sure anymore. Oh? Oh shit da, 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 oh shit. I mean <clears throat> that was totally planned. Come on, get up. There we go. Oh oh Yes, balance beam specialist circus performing guy at your service. Is there a point to, to being over here? Yeah. Yeah. And this is like the... Oh. Oh? Uh. Stucky was still out there. In the dark. Stalking. That damn creepy bastard. All I want to do is balance on things. So this must be the right way. What's over here? Anything interesting? Yeah. Nope. Just a uh, view. So it's getting all foggy, so there's really not much to see. Oh, what's this? Flashy. Batteries and ammo. Again. Just conveniently lying out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Thank God for that. This must be like such a hillbilly bumpkin place that, you know, that's what constitutes emergency supplies. Like, oh, I was hunting deer and I ran out of ammo. So luckily I just went to one of them uh, surprise emergency boxes and got surprise emergency box? What is that? Oh God, they throw stuff now. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, buddy. Ow. Ow. Alright. Excellent. Taken care of. Hmm. Where the hell is the gas station, damn it? Oh. Caution. Uh, I would be able to read this if my flashlight wasn't so damn bright. Proceed at your own risk. Logging area ahead. Well, that's not, uh... Foreshadowing at all. Checkpoint reached. Oh, wait, oh, wait a minute. Arrow. Arrow. Uh, arrow. Yes, up, up, up we go. E, climb. Um, oh, not done yet. Arrows? Oh, taken. They're taken. 
arrow, the plain paint splatter, and uh, yes, I'm the master of following things. Cool. Alan Wake, brought to you by Energizer. Did I already do that joke? I think I did. I did it again. Deal with it. I should probably be a little bit more careful about <gasps> going down this thing. Yup. Ow. Let's not break Alan's shins. I don't think that'd be a very good thing to do. Climb this. Get in this thing. Drive it around. That'd be awesome. Huh, so I was just walking around under that thing, huh? Hmm. Hmm, maybe that's where they wear those hard hats. Because I'm, I'm sure wearing a hard hat would protect you from falling logs like that, whatever. The staircase huh? was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Well, let's see what's in here. I don't want to know what these loggers were doing that required them to keep revolver ammo in a box. Oh, I saw something. Examine. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Should I, like, follow the wires? That's what a smart person would do, except this thing isn't connected to any wires. Like, really? Huh? I hear something. Back! Away with you, monsters! There's nothing. Except a thermos, bitchin'! Anything over here? With all this forestry huh? equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. I saw a ladder, but I got distracted by shiny things. Ooh. Oh. Just a hat. Oh, there's something glowing over there. Ladder. There it is. Want to make sure there's nothing up here. Because i got to explore everywhere. There's a pallet up here. There's nothing. Great. So where's that shiny? There it is. It's way over there. Yoop. Ow. My ankles. Oh. Okay. There's three of them. Oh, shit. Okay. Back off, sickle man. You too. Okay, well, handled. Hmm, what was that? Not just yet, game. There's exploring to be done. Danger, hard head area. Well, I should just walk in with my soft head. Manuscript page, excellent. I heard them before I saw them. Swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. It was horrible. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Oh, shotgun. With three whole bullets. <laughs> or maybe two. Hey, why did this door close behind me? Did I close that door? I don't With all this forestry equipment around. There had to be something I could use to reach the top. Oh great, it's one of these. Yup. Yup. Okay, now I go back and uh, play with that thing. And I'm, I'm gonna shoot something with a shotgun, damn it. If I don't sneeze first. Ah. Ah. Okay. Ooh, log lift. 
Oh. So that's why that ladder is there. Right? Yeah. Okay, cool. I get it now. All right, let's do this thing. Excellent. Those skills of being a balance beam specialist person, I'm a jigger with the circus, are definitely paying off. Ooh, is that shotgun ammo? It is, and there's something green in here. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. As you listeners know, I'm, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maureen Torton. That dude's creepy. I don't like him. Who are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Manuscript page. Excellent. Some more of my excellent writing. At first, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. Oh, how meta. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Huh. Reach the gas station. Still not close the to the gas, gas station, station, am I? Oh, it's now. closer now. It's Great. Like welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes huh? the best dogs in the state. Barry Burster is the best with no characters. Monster Dog is second best. The famous dog is... Still not as creepy as that other guy. Ooh. There's a nice dark forest to wander our way into over here. Hmm. I get the feeling I shouldn't go this way. Oh, shit, son. Get, get away from me. Where'd he go? Shotgun, yo ass. Oh, ow, ow. Where the hell did you come from? Oh, wait, he's still, still all dark. Darkness. Ah! Hmm. What's going on? Should I be running? Seems it seems that way. Oh wait, what's this? Uh, uh. It's always time to pick things up. Oh, excellent. Okay. Should I just, like, make a mad dash for this place? Oh, okay, we're not mad dashing that way. Probably mad dashing this way. Oh, safe haven. Okay. Is there a direction I'm supposed to be going here? Oh, Thermos! Thermos! Oh, fuck me. It was a trap! Ah! Admiral Akbar! I'm channeling you to save me! You! Ah, you fucker! Sons of bitches, try to get me and my coffee. Is that where I'm going? I'm so confused. No, I was already here, damn it. Okay. It's probably the way I was supposed to go. 
So we shall go this way. And hopefully not be- Oh, son of a bitch. Flash, I have some sh shitty batteries. Oh. Ow! You asshole. Alright, okay, there's a thing up there. There's a thing up there. A manuscript page, excellent. Some more of my excellent writing. Hang on, monstrosities, I need to read. I stepped into the gas station's garage. Well, this hasn't happened yet. Quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Huh, so is... F5... Okay, F5 is a quick way to get out of this. Excellent, that's good to know. Okay, there's a light up here. Can this also be my safe haven? Ooh, and a, an emergency supply box. Sweet. Thank God for those hillbillies. Oh, there's paint here. Yeah, 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 yeah! Cool. Let's uh, save that, though. Don't need to use it on the first douchebag that comes out of douchebagville. Ah! Let's hurry. <laughs> really? Trucks come down this road? Damn. Well, I guess they do, because it's like a logging thing. Whatever. Gonna run under this? That's a good idea, right? Oop. Oh, balls. Maybe it'd be a good idea to use that flare gun. Is that a dead dude? Hey. Hey. Back off. Back off. Ah! Oh shit! Ow! 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 Stop it! Get it out, asshole! Oh, he's like not dark anymore. Hehe! Hehehe! You bastards! Take take that! Hmm. I could have gone better. Am I not at the gas station yet? Jesus! There's like supplies in here. Sweet. Cool. Cool. And that opens the gate. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton. Einstein. Sagan. Princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode A Quantum Suicide. What? This is actually going to be like a. Lives are awesome. Made, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference. Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. This is going to be like an entire episode of this? This reminds me of Max Ladies Payne. And gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. <laughs> Tonight, I'm going Moorcock. to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. Yeah? As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. Hey, what the hell, man? It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Don't do it. Suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay hmm. calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. 
Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. I was kind of hoping so it wasn't. Flower pot. <gasps> and yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, so, two new realities This is science? Off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. So wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen in a world, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, uh, this hmm. one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. No, I'm not. Insane? Watch as I do it again. Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools. Gaze upon quantum immortality. Well. Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened. The decaying yeah. atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat. In night springs. The scary door. Well, that was excellent. I don't care if anyone was bored by that. That was awesome. Yeah. Yep. Ah, oh, it's a manuscript page. Some more boring stuff. Let us read. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up. And she wouldn't help me find Alice. This is all stuff that hasn't happened yet. Ooh, there's a thingy here. It's a weird thingy. We shall use it. Oh, balls. It's getting all dark. Let's get out of here quickly. We should move on. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. Pick up the batteries. Pick. Oh, I have max batteries. Great. This doesn't worry me at all. Huh? What? Uh oh. That's okay, I know how to beat you. Oh shit, I need a uh... Uh, uh, uh... Yeah. That worked. Now get your ranting ass down here. Oh, fuck. Oh, I need to reload. Ah! Yeah! Yeah, leave me alone. I'm stuck in a corner now. Ah! Ah! Back the fuck up, buddy. Yeah, you want some too? Whoa, speedy bastard. Where the hell are you at, speedy Gonzalez? You come back here, boy. So is this a new kind of guy that I have to face? A speedy guy? Because I gotta say, I don't really like him. He can go to hell? Oh my god, Jesus. Fuck you, asshole. He's not dead. This is problematic. Die! Die! Thank you. Christ on a cracker. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. Well, that was disturbing on many levels. Did I run out of shotgun ammo? I guess I did. Okay. Let's keep going. Jesus Christ. Is this the gas station? Yes, thank God. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Is that a fact? I think, we, I think we're supposed to go this way. 
Oh, it's nice and bright here, at least. experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. And it's gonna go dark, isn't it? <gasps> Manuscript page. Actually, now that we're at the gas station and the, it was the checkpoint, I think we will end this here. Kind of gives you guys a little bit of a uh, cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. And uh, so, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am so far. Because I am a lot. Hmm. And until next time, I will see you later.